Iron Source Mediation, Bidding Test. A bidding test is a quick and accurate A-B test that will help you decide if using level play in-app bidding is the right monetization strategy for your business. In this video, you'll learn how to use Iron Source's bidding test tool to determine if a hybrid waterfall that includes in-app bidding performs better than a traditional waterfall. Let's get started. Inside the Iron Source platform dashboard, choose the app and add unit you want to test for level play. This will take you to the Add Units and Placements page where you'll activate Iron Source Network as a bidder. You'll see a toggle in the Iron Source Network section next to bidding. Slide the toggle from the inactive position and click the OK button on the pop up to activate Iron Source as a bidder. Now go to the left side nav bar and select SDK Networks. On this page, you can configure and activate all of the other available bidding networks for level play. Click the arrow to expand the row near each configured network, then slide the status toggle to active next to the add unit or units you want to use, and click the OK button on the pop-up to activate the network as a bidder. When you've activated all of the bidders, go back to the left side nav bar and select A-B testing. This will open the A-B testing page. Make sure the app you want to test for level play is selected and click the create bidding test button. A bidding A-B test will be created for you. There's absolutely no setup required. To start the bidding test, click the Start Test button. Traffic to your app will immediately be divided 50-50 between the A and B groups. Group A includes only traditional instances, according to the waterfall you already have set up for your app on the Mediation Management page. Group B includes the same waterfall, plus all the level play bidders you've activated. If your waterfall includes any traditional instances from networks that are also bidders, then those instances will be removed from Group B. For example, since you activated the Iron Source and Facebook networks as bidders and your waterfall includes Iron Source and Facebook instances, then all of the Iron Source and Facebook instances will automatically be removed from the waterfall in Group B. You can track the progress of your bidding test by accessing your test report here. Click the Show Report link and you'll see all of your KPIs on your Performance Reports page, as well as on your User Activity Reports page. To see how each test group is performing, Select Break by AB in the Breakdowns box here on the right. Pay close attention to the average revenue per daily active user, the ARP DAO, of A versus B as the key metric to assess performance. Positive gains in ARP DAO are a great indicator of a winning strategy. If you're not sure about what your data shows, ask your account manager to help you interpret the results. You can end your bidding test at any time, but it's a good idea to wait 14 days for a conclusive result. When you're satisfied that you know which group has won, on the A-B testing page, select Continue with A or Continue with B. If you select Continue with Group A, in-app bidding will be deactivated and 100% of your app's traffic will be sent to your original waterfall. If you select Group B, your hybrid bidding waterfall will receive 100% of your app's traffic and all of the traditional instances belonging to the same network as the bidders will be deactivated. You'll see a pop-up with your selection highlighted. Click the Approve button to immediately move all of your traffic to the winning strategy. And that's it! Now you're ready to create a bidding test to decide if level play is right for you. To learn more about best practices for bidding tests, head to the Knowledge Center or reach out to your account manager.